Hey, Sam. What's that on your head? It's the new hat my dad bought me this weekend. We both got one when we went to a presentation on ADHD. But there's a bandage on your hat with letters on it. Yep. It says ADHD is real. ADHD, or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, is something that I have. Oh, are you sick? No, I'm not sick. Don't worry, you can't catch it. The bandit is there to tell people that ADHD is a real thing, even though you can't see it. But the bandage makes it look like your head is hurt. It is, sort of, but not like when you fall down and hurt yourself. ADHD means that my brain finds it harder to do some things. I have more trouble paying attention. And sometimes, I can't stop paying attention when things are really interesting. But my dad said that I am just as smart as everyone else. Huh? I know it sounds kind of confusing. It was for me at first, too. But I think I get it now. You see, my brain works a little bit different than other people's brains. I have trouble making my brain stay interested in what's important. Instead, my brain likes to think about what it finds exciting. What's wrong with that? Sometimes nothing at all. But when I need to pay attention to boring things, it's hard. Things that my brain finds boring can still be really important. Like when the teacher is explaining our homework, my brain just wanders off and starts thinking about something else that it finds more interesting. Wow, I can see how that might be a problem. Is that why you don't get your homework done sometimes? Yep, one of the reasons. But ADHD also makes it harder for me to remember things, like what I need to do for homework, what books I need to take home, and even where I put my books. Hmm, how did you get ADHD? Well, I learned that most times it's something that your parents give to you when you're born. It was passed down from my dad to me. Not everyone gets ADHD that way, but most kids do. So your dad has it too? Yep, and my sister. So it just means you have trouble paying attention? Well, sometimes I can't stop paying attention to things I really like to do, like computer games or TV. That can get me into trouble when I'm supposed to be doing something else. But I also have trouble staying still. Hey, come on, let's go. Yep, you sure do bounce around a lot. But your sister doesn't. Is that just because she's a girl or because she's older than you? No, there are different types of ADHD. Only some kids with ADHD move around too much. They call it being hyperactive. I was able to remember that word because everyone always says, I'm hyper. And I'm too active. What about last week, when you had to go see Principal Smith? Was that because you weren't paying attention or bouncing around too much? No, I don't get in trouble for those things. That was my impulsivity. Is that something else ADHD gives you? Yeah, but not all kids with ADHD are impulsive and hyperactive. Some are very quiet, like my sister, but she has just as much trouble paying attention as I do. She daydreams a lot. My mom says that our heads are in the clouds. So what's that impulse thing that got you into trouble? Well, that's a good way to put it. I get an impulse, like an idea in my brain, and before I can stop myself and figure out if it's a good thing to do, I've gone and done it. One of the other kids I met on the weekend said that his mom says he needs to stop and think. But sometimes kids with ADHD have a hard time doing that. What did Principal Smith say? Well, she said that she understood that I didn't really mean to push Melissa and call her a bad name. She reminded me that Melissa didn't mean to get in my way when I was late and rushing at the door to catch my bus. So I had to apologize to her. But why? That thing, ADHD, made you do it. Even though ADHD makes it harder for me to do the right thing sometimes, my mom says that I still have to follow the rules. 
My mom and dad are trying to help me get better at calming down when I get frustrated and mad or even too silly sometimes. But if it's hard for you to pay attention, stay still and stop and think before you do things, why do you still have to do all of those things? I guess it's kind of like you and math. Math is tough for you, but easy for me. But it doesn't mean that you still don't need to do math. Paying attention and staying still is easy for you and tough for me, but I still need to try. So why were you late for the bus? Well, that's something else that I learned this weekend. People with ADHD get what's called distracted a lot. Like when I was getting ready for the bus. While I was getting my things together, I saw the new pictures that my teacher put up on the display board. One thing led to another, and I totally forgot about the bus. My brain sees or hears something that it finds interesting, and the next thing I know, I'm thinking about something else, or doing something else. My dad said that it's kind of like a dog seeing a squirrel. Before it thinks, off it goes. Now I know why I'm always late for things, and forget to finish what I'm doing. It also takes me more time to do things than I think it will. So everyone's always telling me to hurry up. But when my brain is stuck on something interesting, I totally lose track of time. I forget to stop thinking about the interesting stuff and get going on what I need to do. Wow, sounds like that ADHD is a terrible thing to have. No way! It does make it harder sometimes. And I don't like getting into trouble when I'm trying hard not to. But my dad says that ADHD is not a bad thing. He said that when he first found out about his ADHD, he was upset. Then he took some time to learn about it. He got some help for his ADHD, and now he likes his different brain. He's got a great job that he loves. My dad's boss told him that he comes up with the best ideas that no one else thinks of. My brain works like that too, and I may not be good at paying attention and being on time, but I'm good at lots of other things, like math and sports. My dad said that if I work hard, I can get a cool job too. He said that when he was little, people didn't know much about ADHD. It makes him sad to remember all the times people were angry with him because he couldn't sit still or pay attention or remember things. They thought that he was just not trying hard enough or being bad. That's why he got me this hat. He says that ADHD is real and it's nothing to be ashamed of. Everyone just needs to learn more about ADHD so we can understand it. So now you know, ADHD is a part of me, but only one part of me. As you know, I'm a pretty interesting guy.